Okay, in this video, we have three guitars. These are three Gibson Les Pauls. They're all the slash, or of the slash line of custom guitars. So the first one is the Appetite Burst. Okay, so you see it is like a trans amber type of a top on it, wood grain. Okay, you see the uh, slash uh, logo there on the truss rod cover. Got the old fashioned type tuners on all the slash models. Okay, so to take a look at this one, zebra pickups, they're all uncovered, no chrome covers, at least not from the factory. Okay, so this is the Appetite Burst. Named after Appetite for Destruction. That's the guitar, like the guitar he used for that album. Okay, next we have the Slash Victoria Gold Top. So exposed pickups, no chrome covers once again. Gold Top, you see here, okay, the Slash truss rod cover. These all come with a, a blank truss rod cover if you don't want that. You see the... Uh, old-fashioned tuners let's turn this over this is a very dark back to it the epiphone has like a light brown wood back so that's got a dark back this one has a nice uh, red back to it okay so so far we have appetite burst the victoria gold top I'll tell you, this one is the, of, now in this one, I got the November Burst, okay? We'll look at that in a second. The Gold Top is the heaviest guitar out of the three. The, app, so Victoria Gold Top is the heaviest, then the Appetite Burst is the second heaviest, the lightest guitar of the three, the final of the three i mean there's the green anaconda burst and the, the like the reddish vermilion burst i don't have either of those third one is the november burst triple a flame maple top and now you notice with this they all come with a pickup or excuse me they all come with a pick guard but it, as you noticed okay so no pick guard on the Victoria. It, it comes with it, but it comes uninstalled. No pick guard on this either. I didn't put them on. I did have the pick guard put on this. And I did buy aftermarket chrome pickup covers. Because if you look at the guitar that Slash, that Slash used for the November Rain video... Watch the November Rain video. The, the guitar he's playing is a tobacco burst. Looks just like this, pretty much. But it has the pick guard and it has pickup covers. So it's strange. Again, when, when this, this guitar, when it came stock, it did not have the chrome covers. had black. It had black pickups like this. It had black humbuckers just like that. Well, that's not what Slash used in the November Rain video. So I put on the covers, bought those aftermarket. So put those on. I put this on. And now it actually looks like the guitar that he played. So I also did one other change because I sort of altered it. I took off the uh, truss rod cover and just bought an aftermarket standard. So... Let's look at the back of this one. Okay, it's also dark. Okay, it's a, it looks black. Okay, and you see, okay, there's the slash uh, logo there on the back of the headstock. So, yeah, November Burst. Victoria Gold Top. And Appetite Burst. Now, out of the three guitars, which one is my favorite? Which one plays 
the best, sounds the best, looks the best. The appetite burst, I think, looks the best. The gold top, maybe that sounds the best, maybe. It's hard, hard to tell. They all sound pretty equal. The reason why the November burst, if I had to pick one, and I could only have one, I mean, I'd want the appetite because it looks so nice, but this is the lightest. Now, it may not always be that way. If you bought them, maybe you would find that this one was the heaviest. I mean, I guess it depends. But as far as my three guitars go, the November Burst is the lightest. And overall, if I had to pick one, it would be that one. But it's also the one that I slightly altered a little bit. So there you go. There's the slash November burst slash Victoria gold top and the Gibson slash, they're all Gibson slash appetite burst. Okay. Thanks for watching.